Today, we are going to be eating restaurant's leftovers for 24 hours. Oh my god. Cool. Right guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, as you can see, we are going to be eating restaurant's leftovers for 24 hours. Now, I didn't really know about this until recently, so it might sound crazy to you, but there is an app that you can get on your phone called Too Good To Go. You can basically reserve magic bags, like surprise boxes, of the end of a company's food. It could be their breakfast, their lunch, dinner, the end of the day at 9 p.m., whatever it is. Sometimes you can pre order it the day before, or sometimes they come up on the day and you can just reserve it for like three pounds. They obviously vary, but like, I've got to be quick because I've reserved myself a breakfast, which I'm very excited about. So between 11 and 11.15 today, I have ordered a breakfast magic bag from Toby Carvery. I've never had breakfast from there, like in general, but we're gonna get the end of their breakfast stock. So again, we don't know what's left, like the leftovers that would normally go in the bin. I paid £2.79 for that, so that's a very good price. And I'm just intrigued to see, obviously it can vary from restaurant to restaurant, I'm assuming, but I'm just in intrigued to see, one, the amount of food you get, and two, the actual variety. Like, could we end up getting a full English in leftover food that would have just gone in the bin because it was sad. I don't know. But we're going to get in the car and we're going to go see. Also, guys, before we go anywhere, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. There is currently 54% of you guys that are watching the videos that aren't subscribed. It's literally free. It helps me out massively and we're on the road to half a million subscribers. So make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so that you don't ever miss when I post and I'll love you even more forever. Let's go. I feel like we could be on for a winner. And because this is a breakfast bag, Obviously, that means that Erin isn't awake yet. No, she is awake, but she's not out of bed. And she's feeling a little bit under the weather with a cold. So I'm going to go and do breakfast on my own. And then we've got another surprise later on, which obviously I'll tell you guys about. So yeah, let's get in the car. Go get Toby Carvery breakfast. So here's an example. I'm on the homepage now and I've got a magic bag. Collection today between half four and five from the PR Italian shop in Maystone. Five pound reduced from 15. And you get a selection of high quality gourmet Italian deli items. And it's a surprise basically. You can literally just go through and just see what restaurants are there. I have really wanted Greg's, but I sort of missed the cut off for Greg's. So for Greg's, you'd have to do it the day before at like 5 p.m. So like today, 5 p.m. for tomorrow. But obviously I'm filming today and I just didn't really know until I did it that I needed to do it the day before. So we're not going to get Greg's sadly, but we're going to go to Toby Carvery and get our breakfast. Right, we've just got here. I'm literally about to go in now and go and collect my magic box. I curved my wheel on the way here. I'm so annoyed, but I'm not going to cry about it because stuff happens and I've done it before anyway when I'm in another car. So what's the point in even moaning about it? Oh, look at the curb on that, man. Oh, that is so peak. I'm buzzing with this. I mean, I'm not obviously going to fully open it because the juices is coming out from the beans. I mean, I literally went in and it was already there on the side. Click tap to collect on the app. Bosh. I can see an egg. I can see some sausages, beans. I mean, yes. We'll take it. I have a feeling this could be good, you know, and I've, I mean, I've never tried Toby Carberry breakfast, so it's going to be interesting, but I'm not going to vlog now while I drive home. I will see you when I get home. And we're gonna try Toby Carberry breakfast from Too Good To Go. Right, we're back home. So, Toby Carberry leftovers breakfast. Probably a little bit cold now because it's a half an hour journey home. But let's see what we've got. I'd love some toast, but obviously you're never gonna get toast in the takeaway box. Is that a hash brown? Oh, right, let's get it out and see what's in there. Obviously I can see a sausage on top, but we've got sausage, sausage, a fried egg, bacon. Oh yes, hash brown, two hash browns. Get in. Some bacon, three strips of bacon, and we've got beans with tomato stuff in it. No idea what that is, but we'll take beans. Right, let's pour it on. Right, here we go. We've actually got a full plate of breakfast. I'm gonna eat the beans. I'm not gonna eat this bit, but decent. We've got fried egg, two hash browns, three bits of bacon, two sausages. That is very impressive, £2.79. Let me see if it's warm as well, and let's give it a taste test. There we go. Toby Carvery leftovers breakfast. Let's give it a try. What should we try first? Let's try the beans. The beans are probably gonna be cold because they've been in the car for half an hour. Okay, no, they're still all right. Hash brown, a little bit crispy to put it into. Okay. Not the end of the day. Not bad at all, actually. What else have we got? Let's try a bit of the sausage. I, like I said, I've never actually been to Toby Carberry breakfast in general. So this is intriguing. Right, sausage, 
with ketchup to give this a try. I'm really hit or miss with sausages, like even in general. <laughs> it tastes good. I mean, look, if I lived closer, it would be warmer. But like the actual food itself, you can't complain. Like this would have just gone in the bin. Like in all seriousness, right? You could do this every day if you wanted to and you could still get good meals. Because if you pre-booked it, you could get like Greg's and everything like that. I'm actually really impressed. The bacon's definitely a bit hard, but again, I'm not complaining because it's leftover food. And I want to clear up just in case there's any of you wondering, it's not food that people have eaten, they've put it back in the bowl, do you know what I mean? It's leftover food that they make into these takeaway boxes that would have gone to waste. So like the leftover food that doesn't get eaten, probably at the buffet, like the carvery thing. So yeah, I'm gonna eat the rest of this guys, and then I'll come back to you when we know what we're having next. We're coming up to Costa. We're actually about to walk past Greg's. I'm kind of, kind of um, jail that we couldn't get a Greg's box, but. I really don't feel very well. Everyone's got no energy today. Brian's making me walk <coughs> all the way there. So yeah, we're gonna go up there now. I'm praying for a caramel shortbread, but they always sell out, so I don't see there being any there. You can always be hopeful, can't we? So yeah, let's see what we get in Costa. That's the Greg's I went to for the last stop eating Greg's as well. Right opposite Costa. Right, magic bag. Literally gonna go up there, give them that code, and get our magic box. So it actually shuts in an hour anyway at 4 p.m., but there's so many cakes left, and there's so many sandwiches, so I don't know what we could get. Probably a few leftover cakes, I don't know. Everyone's getting her apple juice, because she doesn't feel well. But we've got the Costa bag. There's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. And I can see some sandwiches. What's in that? It's a lemon muffin. It is a lemon muffin. Nice. I'll eat that. That's probably three pound on its own. Cheese and milk. Bellini. Erin and Lisa. Barbecue chicken. Do they all go out of date? Read what's the dates on them. Mate, there's loads in here. Seventh. Yeah, so they go out of date today. today. Beans and cheese, toasty. That's new. There's so much in here. What's for Erin's birthday? Yeah, all of that for three quid. Mate, for three quid? That's unbelievable. Right, I'll do the tuna melt and I'll do this as well. I'll do the vegan ham and cheese and tuna melt. So I've got my cheese and ham one and tuna melt. The lovely lady in Costa let me warm it up. So thank you very much. This tuna melt is so nice. This is banging. That's actually unreal. Like, it's no different. It's vegan, but it tastes amazing. But vegan ham. Oh, are they all vegan? Vegan cheese. Right, this, this is tuna, tuna melt. It's really nice. Erin eats this anyway. Have you ever had it in here? It's so nice, there's like no bits in it. Fine. I'm actually really impressed with the cheese melt. I'm still digging into my cheese panini, I've eaten half. Erin's gonna try the lemon muffin. I'd love that, I love lemon cake. It's still really moist. Lemon cake's my favourite. Oh my god. Honestly, I'm so impressed. I came in here thinking it would just be like the cakes that are gone out of date. I didn't realise you'd get like brand new ones in the packaging. The only difference is it goes out of date today. Um, I'm gonna finish this while we walk as well. Ham and cheese and my tuna melt. Erin will probably have the tuna melt as well because she loves tuna. Yeah, we're gonna take the whole rest of the food with us. You know Erin's it. laughing at me because I talk too much. You know it. <laughs> say it so many times. Bye. Right, guys, we literally just walked from Costa all the way up through town and there's none out, which is obviously a good thing. It just means that none, like, there's no one out to give the food to. So which, we'll in a way, if you think about it, is a good thing. It's yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's less people in our area. Exactly. It means there's less people out on the streets, which is good. It's not like we wanted to find someone. Just if there was, it would have been helpful to give them the food. So we'll just dish this out to someone in our, in our family on the way back. My nan will have it. She likes a bit of food. We need to drop something there anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get in a car, go home, and. Stay tuned for the next one. Guys, I'm gutted. I'm just about to go and get my last, well, this was gonna be my second to last one of the day. And I go onto the app, just double check, and my Harvester one, I can tell you guys now, because it's been canceled. I had Harvester for dinner, and it's been canceled. I have no idea why, it just says, we won't charge you for this order. To find out how we'll process your refund, check the email we've just sent you. Maybe they didn't have any spare food in the end. So yeah, I'm about to go to the last destination that we have that was going to be the harvester collection for 9 45 so it was going to be quite late it's currently half eight the last one we have now is m&s garage which i'm very excited for because it could be like wild bean cafe stuff which i love i eat it all the time and i can pick that up in half an hour so i'm going to leave very soon i don't know what it could be again it just says on the order groceries but it says it can also be Wild bean calf stuff. Oh, imagine there was a steak bake. They do steak bakes, chicken bakes, ham and cheese, um, bacon and cheese turnovers. I used to get them in the morning sometimes. Any of the baguettes, burrito things. I don't know. Let's just see what we're in for. We can't change it. That's unfortunately how it's planned out. But I was, Erin was saying, like, imagine that was the only one you bought and they cancelled it. Right, that was for dinner. 
yeah, like if that was your dinner and it was the only one you ordered, I don't know. But anyway, they obviously just had no spare food, so it is what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the last one now and see what we've got for the last meal of the day. Right, we've just pulled up to the M&S garage. We're gonna go in and get the food. I'm actually really excited for this one, to be fair, because like I said, I genuinely eat all this food. So let's go in, pick it up, and then we'll come back to the car. Right, guys, we're back. Right, let me put the light on quick. I got a bag from M&S. I went in and I said about the cone, and she was like, oh. she's like, I think I think she did an extra bag for something, or something, maybe less. I can't remember what it was. I've actually got, what's it called? Let me just check the date. Yeah, so they got a date today. So I've got the M&S burgers, which I literally buy these exact ones to go on a barbecue. And they got a date today, but they reduced from £5.25 to £1.89. We've got a packet of mozzarella. Oh my God. Cheesy dirty fries. <laughs> Mate, they're like, they're probably like six quid. Cheesy dirty fries. And then we've got some rolls to go with the burgers. And then we did have um, like a cold pack of roast chicken. We like, they're ready to eat, small packet. And some melon. But I said to her like, take it out like if you need to, because she was making up another bag and she forgot. I think that's what it was. So yeah, we've got burgers in a bun with some dirty fries. <laughs> I'm honestly, this app is so good. You guys need to download it. It's not even an ad, like, but you need to download it. Too good to go if you're watching this. You need to sponsor me. Right, I'm back. I'm gonna quickly take this upstairs and show Erin what we got. Oh, she's chilling in my office. Right, open it up. One by one. Bread. Bag of buns. Okay, you gonna eat them? Yeah, banging. Okay, not really sure how we're gonna cook them. Burgers on the pan. Okay. Doesn't have to be on a barbecue. That's decent, isn't it? Have they given you a burger meal? Then? Yeah, exactly. Let's go! The cheesy dirty fries are in the oven. In a minute, I'm gonna put the burgers on. The two buns are cut up for me and Erin. Now, I did think, obviously, like, I was thinking, like, oh, this is like stuff you'd put in the oven and you can cook, but it still counts, right? One, it's still on too good to go app. Two, I need, I'm, I need, I'm only saying this because it's not like ready to go food to eat like straight from, you know, like Greg's for example. But the whole point is it's still like, you pay like two pound. In fact, how much did I pay for this? Four pound. So you pay four pound. That's what the burgers cost alone. Plus you've got mozzarella, the buns, dirty fries, obviously the burgers. And I did have mango, oh melon, and the chicken slices. So it's still very worth it. And obviously the point is this is all still going out of date today. This would be thrown in the bin otherwise, so. I don't, I don't mind. I'm happy to eat these burgers. Just gotta cook it, but it's easy. Right, so the food is done. I've got a little slice there because I cut it open. Very nicely done. I did toast the buns a little bit on the grill. And then look at the cheesy dirty fries. They look peng. They're like crispy. They're banging. So yeah, let's give this a little try and see what we're saying. Taking a bite, even though it's still very hot. Ready? Mmm. The buns are so much better toasted. Right. Dirty fry time. They're so crispy. They actually smell well good as well. So I'm gonna try a little one first. Mmm. Mmm. Cheese. Mm. They've got like a little spicy kick to them as well. A few moments later. Oh. They are spicy. Woo! Wow, Zaba. Whoa! They are quite spicy. Woo! Oh, they've got a kick to them. Right, Ernie, they're not for you. Pick a crispy chip from the end. You're not feeling very well today, are you? I feel well. This will make you feel better. No, Have a crispy chip. Just try a chip. Bang, isn't it? Crispy chips, see? I told you. Okay. So, I'm going to tuck into the rest of these. I'm going to give Erin the camera. She's going to go and edit her video. But, I'm very impressed. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me on a time lapse because sometimes I find it a bit boring. It's a cracking dinner. But yeah, I'm gonna go guys. I'm gonna eat the rest of this food. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. I 100% recommend this. Download it, go and, go and try it one day. See what food you get in your magic mystery bag. Let me know if you guys use this because I'm honestly intrigued to see. I've got hiccups. To see if you guys use this. I'm gonna love and leave you all. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Follow me on Instagram. Comment anything down below and I'll be hearted every single comment. If you don't believe me, leave a comment right now. Right, I'm gonna love and leave you all. Peace, Peace. love, see you next Sunday. Also, next Sunday is a very... Oh my god! Next Sunday, next Sunday's video is a very special video, trust me. Make sure you be there. Bye!